So I figured it's time for another avocado update. Uh, might as well start with uh, number three, because look at this. Growing strong. However, I believe last time I updated you, I was worrying that my other two were dying. Well, let's have a look at these late bloomers. Pow. I mean, look at that. Um, that's a nice strong stalk there that's growing. Have some lovely leaf where just I grow off as well, you know. Um, yeah, looking good. And this one, oh, look at you. That was, I think that was number one, number two, number three. They kind of grew in um, backwards um, order. This one's really interesting here. Eh? Like, I pulled these things, both of them, I pulled them out like twice. Like, ready to throw them away. I was like, wow, I saw some root action, so I, I left them and then how to sprung up out of nowhere this one's really interesting now it sees the bend what i realize here is that they they grow towards the light so like when i leave it one direction it kind of grows into that direction so what i've been doing now is just playing with it and every time it starts growing in the direction turning it and look we have these bendy sparks um yeah really interesting for me so we've got three avocado trees one of them with two stalks um, peace out homies I think I'm going to water these today actually I haven't given you any water in a while I'm going to check the soil make sure it's not too dry but I think it, I think it's probably um, yeah a bit dry now so I'm ready for a watering we've learnt that we don't water them too much because you don't want to rot the roots or root rot to occur um, yeah well, you know how it goes peace out homies so I've had a little prod with me old uh, moisture meter let me bring it out boom and so it was it was like moist but at the lower levels of moist so it was where were we we were like over here so i'm like you know what i haven't given you any food for a couple of weeks i think about three weeks now so i'm gonna go and uh, feed it um some extra nutrients how i'm doing this one is i'm I'm gonna bottom water it. Um, so I've done a little bit of research, and some of my friends have done some research. Research, <laughs> research. It's like when you uh, go to a new congregation. I play. I kid. Um, some of my friends have done some research as well. Some of them been complaining about the amount of time it's gonna take me. Like apparently 15 to 20 years before I see fruit. If I do see fruit, cool, whatever. Um, but another thing that came up was like flies. It can attract flies. Um, for what I've learned is that when this top layer is moist, it's the perfect breeding ground for, for flies. So I said they like to lay their, head, their eggs in there. And, um, you know, then obviously you've got more flies. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bottom water, right? Which means the top layer will stay dry and the flies will not lay their eggs because, well, that's not what they do. They need it to be nice and moist. Anyway. So I've got me some some uh, some plant food. I'm not going to show the brand because ain't nobody paying me, <laughs> you know. Um, but here we go. And I've got my little bucket here. Let me bring my bucket over. You go back there a bit. So I've got a liter of water in here, and I'm just gonna drop that in there. There we go. I'm just gonna. I would ordinarily stir it. I'm just gonna shake that around a bit. Um, now, as it's not super dry, if like if at an acceptable moisture level, I'm not really going to give it a full-on water. Um, but what I would do if I was watering it, I'd let this water, um, if, I, you know, if it was dry, I'd let this rise a bit more. Right, and I'd be aiming at getting it kind of around about here, so that that top layer doesn't get wet. Plunge that in and allow it to take the moisture up from underneath. Um, I did my little makeshift thing here, got me little, what's this called, little tray, but I cut some cups up and put, because I wanted to have a gap here, just to let as much oxygen, as much air into the bottom of it as possible, you know, to, to avoid any root rot. So now I'm just going to draw back here a little bit, as you can see it's, it's really quite shallow, pick you up and put you in, boom. There we go. And I'm just gonna sit you in there for a while. Let you absorb some of that. 
Um, obviously, it's you know, just the bottom layer. Um, yeah, the midsection of the soil is moist enough. I just want to get some extra nutrients into the bottom of the roots. I'm expecting my roots to be at the bottom there by now. Um, growing beautifully. Um, I haven't actually started giving these little ones food yet. Just... Where are you? Oh, look at you. You're trying to get a sneaky, sneaky. Nah, mate. You're, no one's paying me. You're not visible. I'm not advertising you. Um, so I'm having a look at these bad boys. Yeah, so what I did is I thought, let me cut some holes, like just prod some holes in the bottom of the cup there, so that when I water it, it can kind of, the excess can drain out. As you can see, that's happening there. Um, but I didn't really give it a gap. I might do something for you, because I'm convinced that you're st probably still blocking that flow, that airflow a little bit. Um, over here, let's have a look at you. Yeah, as you can see, that water's draining off in there. So I'll allow that to happen. Um, and I'm just going to leave you in there for a little while suck up those nutrients um, and then put you back there let me see what's going on here yep yeah. thank y'all for staying apprised peace out so now I'm going to check the moisture level again I don't expect it to change too much at all to be honest because I haven't gone high with the um, with the, the water at all so it's going to prod you in there. Oh, oh goodness. That says wet. But leave it for about 60 seconds. Let it do its thing. And, um. Hmm. It's going to come in close to here. Should have meter there. So, too bad. Too bad. I'm just going to turn you a little bit, get some light on, on the situation. Oh, sus. Right on the cusp of moist and wet. So that's the most you ever want to water it, really. I think I've done well there. I think we've done well there. Oh, and look, I'm not sure if you noticed. See the leaves, uh, the leaves have come up. So what's happened there, yeah? It's sucked up that water and food, and he's happy. Like, woo! The leaves have come out. Cool. Oh, so look at you as well over here. I gave them a bit of food as well. See how the leaves are just have moved now, it's changed, it's sticking out more. It's nice and hydrated. I'm trying to focus on it here. Focus on me. Yep, well, that's it. Watered me, babies. And um, I'll keep you updated.